Are promoted listings on FAIR even worth it? Well, for the last six months, we have been trying it out and paying for ads on the FAIR platform. And in this video, I'm gonna take you into the analytics to show you if I think it's been worth it for us and if we're going to continue. So here is what the back end looks like of the performance section of the promoted listing. So this is from March 22nd to September 24th. So basically exactly six months almost on the dot. So since then that we've been promoting, promoted listings has gotten us 10 new customers. And from that, we have earned $2,423.50. This is just projected first year sales. This is just projected based on how many sales we've gotten, the total volume of each order. I look at that, but that's not kind of the hard facts for what we are looking at. And this is how much we have spent in total ads. So we've spent $700 in ads over the last six months and we have received $2,423.50 from that $700. So I'm just gonna do some math here just so we can take a look at this together. So if I take the $2,423.50 and I subtract our ad spend of $700.28, that gives us $17.23 as a total profit. Now we know that FAIR does take their 15%. So I am going to subtract the 15% plus the $10 fee for every new customer that they received or that they brought our way. So I'm going to subtract 15% and then I'm going to subtract $100 because it's $10 for each new customer and there was 10 new customers. So overall in the last six months, we've received $1,364 in profit if you subtract our total ad spent and then our cost of the uh, fair fees as well. Now that's not including our personal cost of goods. And if we really want to get into that, we're going to multiply this number by 60% because that is our total gross profit margin for wholesale on average. So on average, the total profit we have received is $818 if you include the total profit, including our cost of goods. So what's really interesting about using a service like promoted listings or Etsy ads or something like that is a lot of times you can get discouraged if you are putting your money into ads and you're not seeing any kind of return on your investment right away. Sometimes and most of the time you have to let it run for any, you know, a longer length of time than just one or two months to really start to see how it's actually performing for you. So if we scroll all the way down here, we see that over, actually it was what, 10 days, 12 days, whatever the 22nd to the 31st was, that's nine days. Um, we spent uh, $58 and six cents on ads. And, um, oh, actually that was the spending limit. No, we spent $40 and 22 cents. That's what this category is. So we put our spending limit at $200, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that is what's going to be spent every single month. So that's just our limit on, they're not going to spend any more than that per month. So this is actually what was spent per month. These are the impressions. These are the clicks and these are how many customers we've received and then the amount of sales that we had received from it. So as you can see, by the end of April, we had spent over a hundred dollars and we hadn't gotten any new customers. So looking at that, you could think, well, this isn't working, so I'm just gonna stop doing promoted listings. But I knew that I just wanna let it run through and have a longer period of time to be able to analyze the, the data and have a lot more data to analyze. So as we got into May, so May was really where we spent a little bit, or they spent a little bit more on ad spend. So you can see the difference in the impressions. Um, actually, the impressions there were a lot more, um, but still less clicks. That's actually really interesting and no customers acquired. So that's really interesting there. Maybe April just wasn't as big of a sales month or not the retailers um, that were looking for our products. That's actually really interesting. So May, we're looking at the $93 in ad spent, 
1900 impressions, 45 clicks, and we got one customer that placed a $320 order. That was our very first customer from these promoted listings. And then in June, we had two new customers after that $92 in ad spent, which was a total of $298 in orders. And as you can see, July, we had one customer. August, we had three new customers. This is the amount that was spent. And then if we look up to September, we have spent as of the 17th because the way that they do the promoted listings and the payments, it's kind of, I think, either in the middle of part of the month, so you're paying however that works. It's not like the first to the end of the month in terms of payment. So with this, uh, we have received three customers this month through promoted listings and we have received $828. So as you can see, as we have been, you know, staying on promoted listings, we really have been receiving more customers and more sales from that. And I'm actually looking to increase the ad spend. So I personally think it's worth it because we're in, we're making a profit out of everything. We're making money on this. Even though we're spending money on ads, we're earning more back. So if we were to have gone the six months spending $700 on ads and only getting one or two new customers, I don't know if I would feel like that was worth it. Um, maybe I would have kept trying a little bit more to see because I know it's in beta and I know that I don't know exactly how fair is going about doing it. But as of right now, it is working for us. And I think that it is something that is nice to have that extra advertising going on for us on fair to help bring us customers. Now, I think that something that's really important to note is that we were already doing really well on FAIR and then we signed up for promoted listings. So I'm not saying that promoted listings will guaranteed be getting you sales every month. It's definitely possible. And I would say it's, I would recommend anybody to try it out if you have the marketing budget and the ad budget to spend on this, um, which I highly recommend that you do have some kind of advertising budget every month to allocate towards going towards advertising your business, um, whether that's you know on Etsy or doing Instagram ads or doing fair ads, wherever you're trying to grow in your business. I think it's worth it because if you do want to try it out and see if it's going to help you grow, it's worth it to have a span of time where you are paying for a service like this. And I just thought that it would be interesting to try it out and see if it was something that uh, we would actually get a good return on investment on. And even though we haven't made a ton of money on it, I mean, it's been a good amount so far in the six months. And I think that it's worth it for us to keep going and to actually increase the monthly ad spent so that it gets shown to a lot more retailers. And I think that FAIR would probably also maybe favor the wholesalers um, that are putting more money into their newer service. So that's another thing is that we're using their promoted listings, which is in beta. And from what I've known from any kind of platform is they always favor the um, people, the sellers on the platform that are utilizing their services and their extra um, their extra features that they offer, especially if they're newer. So we hopped on that pretty early on. Um, I think that they had only rolled that out really recently before we got on it. So I do think that that's also helped us out a lot as well with getting more orders on fair um, to get more organic orders as well. Because, you know, within this time of getting these 10 new customers through promoted listings, we've gotten a lot of new customers, just not through promoted listings. So perhaps they kind of go hand in hand with helping us through the organic reach as well. But that is the overview. I'm thinking of keeping this going, checking back in another six months, seeing about those six months, and then also the year in general of doing promoted listings. I really hope this video helped you out, gave you an insight to promoted listings, if that's something that you're interested in, and seeing our personal experience with it. But with that, I am gonna end today's video right here. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up, as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you in my next video.